Hey, I'm Kit Rich, and today we're gonna to be doing a 20 minute Pilates fusion. No equipment needed, just you, me, and the mat. Shoes are optional. Uh, you wanna make sure that there's plenty of room so that you don't hit anything. And then also, uh, this is pretty relatively low impact. We will be doing some planks, but I'll provide some modifications for those of you who need it. 20 minutes in and out. This is a great standalone routine or one that you can do with another routine of mine. All right, are you ready to go? Let's begin. Take your legs wide. Let me get my timer. Here we go. And we're gonna begin with three big deep breaths. And bend it, inhale, take it up. And exhale down. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. One more, take it up. Palms come together at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Set a quick intention for this routine. All right, bringing your feet hip width apart, genie position with your arms, shoulders back, start to lift your knees up. Now you'll notice that my torso is lifted. I'm not crunching, so I'm really trying to get the lift of the knees. Very good. Continue this. I'm gonna take my arms up to the sky. Good, keep that heart up, shoulder blades down your back, pulling your abs in as you're lifting the knees. Now every time the knees lift, I want you to pull the arms down to wake up the arms, pull. Long, deep breaths. Good. Now let's add a twist. Twisting towards the knee that rises. Opening up the torso, shoulder blades pulling down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and settle. Very nice. I want you to come to your mat. I'm gonna turn sideways. You can stay facing me. Feet are hip width apart, inhale, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive forward, hands to the floor. If you can't touch the floor, soften your knees until you can. Step back into a plank position, hold. Your shoulders are right over your wrists. Your tailbone is slightly under, legs strong. Turn your elbows in towards your hips, draw your chest forward. Re-engage your abs. Keep holding here. Now, for those of you that need a slight modification, you can drop your knees down, but still continue to maintain that open chest, strong arms, abs, and tight. You got this 15 seconds. Waking up those arms and abs. Last eight. Three, two, one. Drop your knees. Your knees are directly underneath your hips. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Three cat cows, arching your back, looking up, and then round your spine, spread between the shoulder blades. Again, arch, and then round. One more time, arch, and round. Coming to neutral, the space between those two, open up one arm, lifting, opening the chest, and drop it back down. Let's do the other arm, inhale, rise, Exhale, you'll notice one side is tighter than the other. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more time each. Last one, and very good. From here, coming into lifting the hips up and back into a downward dog, dropping your heels down. Some people call this the upside down V. You're really pushing the floor away. You're getting the stretch through the calves as you pedal the knees. This feels good for me because my calves are tight. <laughs> I did the stairs the other day for 30 minutes. Wow. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. You're gonna take one leg up. Let's start with your right leg. Hold it at the top. On an exhale, come forward into a plank, drawing the knee in. And again, take it back. And then exhale, draw it in. For those of you that want slightly more modified, Drop your knee down, extend, and draw the knee in. Let's do two more, back, exhale in. One more, back, hold the knee in, and I want you to pulse it in for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it there, place the foot in between your hands. You wanna make sure that your feet are hip width apart, and then from here, let's bring your arms up to the sky. 
Now, if you have a huge space between your front and back leg, you can walk your back leg in a little bit. Bend your back knee towards the floor, tailbone slightly under, abs pulled in. Make sure that knee is in line with your ankle, arms stay up, and let's pulse the back knee down for 10, 9, 8. Challenge that depth. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold this down, hands to the floor, step back into a plank, drop to your knees. Once again, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Your right leg is the thing that came forward. Let's extend that right leg back. Opposite arm extends forward. You're gonna lift it up. Then you're gonna bend the leg, reach back with that arm, tap the toe, extend it forward and back down. Continue like that. Lift, reach back, bend, up and down. Three more, up, reach back, tap, get the stretch for the quad and down. Two more, up, reach back, extend, and down, last one, up, tap, extend, and down. Ready, downward dog. Lifting up and back, opposite leg, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee in for a total of five. Taking it back, remember the modified, dropping the knee down if need be. And back, exhale, draw in. Two more. One more, hold it in. 10 pulses, 10, nine, triceps turn in, butt stays low, five, four, three, two, hold, place the foot in between the hands, bring your arms up, bend your back knee down, find your position and pulse and fix your hair. <laughs> and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hold hands to the floor. Step back into the plank, drop to your knees. Reposition, left leg goes back, right arm goes forward. You're gonna lift it up, circle tap, extend down. Again, up, back, find that balance. Up, back. Let's go two more, lift, tap it. One more, up, Tap it, very nice. All right, one more round, back to your downward dog. In this position, really find that stretch. Very good, and now I want you to come to a Pilates V. Heels together, toes apart. Draw yourself forward into a plank position and hold. So your heels are really squeezing, your chest is drawn forward. You're gonna point the toes, rock forward, then flex your feet, rock it back. Tap the knees down without moving the hips and then straighten the legs. Once again, rock it forward, tap it back, down, straighten. Inhale, flex, exhale, knees down, legs straighten. Forward, back, bend. Again, two more, forward, back, bend. Last one, woo! Bend, hold the straight, and sit the hips up and back. Let's take your right leg back up to the sky. I had an inch on my face that whole time. And from here, I want you to take that knee, draw it in and place that foot between your hands. Bring your arms back up to the sky, hold it, but now pitch your upper body forward. Now, if this bothers your back, let's bring your hands to prayer or hands to your hips. Staying there, keep the energy in the front leg as the back leg taps in, stay low and then tap it back. So the energy is in the front leg. Good. So here's an example of hands on the hips, hands in prayer, keeping your chest open, tap and back, tap and back. Keep going. Feel that burn. About five more seconds here. Hold the leg back, hands to the floor, step back into your plank. Pilates V with your feet. Second, second set, rock forward. Inhale, rock. Exhale, flex. Tap the knees down. Straighten. Rock. Back. Down. Straighten. Three more. Forward. Back. Good. Long neck. Use those abs there. Very nice. Hold it straight. Parallel feet. Lift the hips up and back. Take the opposite leg, the left leg up to the sky. 
Draw the knee in towards the chin. Place the foot in between the hands. Arms come up. Very good. Arms up. Hey! Upper body comes forward. Either hands in prayer and tap the back leg in. Good. Majority of the weight, though, is in that front leg. As far as your hips go, you want to make sure that your hips are squared, right? So that right hip is going to want to open. Keep it facing forward. Keep going. I'm just going to turn towards you. <laughs> Good. Give me two more. And on this next one, feet come together. Stay low. Get low energy in the heels. Bring your hands to prayer if they're not already there. Push into the hands. Open your heart and let's pulse it down. See if you can get your knees to squeeze together. Your knees aren't going forward. Your butt is going up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep going. I'm just going to rotate again so you can see me. Hold it there. Hands to the floor. Step back into a plank position. Stay in that plank. Come meet me here. And slowly drop your knees. Come all the way down to the floor. Beautiful job. Now in this position, I want you to extend your arms forward. Good. For today, let's turn your palms in as though you want to shake someone's hand. You're going to lift your head up, but stay looking down at the floor. You're going to take your right arm up by your ear or a little higher. The opposite leg lifts, and then we alternate. Switch and switch. Now, if this doesn't feel good for your back, you can keep your feet down and just alternate those arms, working your upper back, or you can choose to just alternate your legs. Whatever works for you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back into a child's pose, knees wide, heels touching, arms extend forward and breathe. From here, come forward, lie down onto your back. Taking your arms out to the side and your knees are together, feet bent, you're gonna rock your knees side, center, side, center. Now, if this feels good for you, I want you to stay here. Otherwise, your legs are lifted up and we go side, center, side, center. Keep going. This helps to loosen up the back while working the abs. If it also feels good for you to go a little slower, go for it. You have to honor where you are, honor your pace, and hold it in the center. With your hands down by your side, I want you to, instead of tucking your tailbone, release the tailbone down to the floor to lengthen the spine. Abs draw in so they're in this neutral position as your toes dip down to the floor and up. I find this move way easier if I'm tucking my pelvis, right? But if I'm lengthening, suddenly my lower abs are having to work. And then you can find that you can do a much smaller range of motion. Keep going. Down and lift. Let's go two more. One more. Very nice. Hold. I want you to grab one knee with both hands extending the other leg. Option to lift your head into a crunch position, nose towards your knee and alternate. Switch and switch. Long breaths here, so you inhale and exhale. And you wanna inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Breathe a little longer than usual. Let's go two more each leg. One more each leg. Hug both knees. Option to rest the head down. I certainly like to. Keep your knees pulled in, but lengthen your tailbone down, right? Instead of this over tucking sensation. Lift your head back up if, if you can. Both legs are going to extend as the arms go back by the ears. Hold. Then you circle the arms, draw the knees in as you lengthen your tailbone down. Inhale, extend, keep the upper body lifted if you can, and exhale. Now continue on your own. For those of you that need a slight uh, gentler option for your neck, keep your head down. You can still get the work. It will even feel better for some of you if you don't drop your legs so low, you'll still get the work of the abs. And maybe today you focus just on the breath, right? 
Inhale, hold, exhale, draw in. Let's go for two more. One more and draw the knees in. From here, take one leg up to the sky. Option to grab the hamstring or the calf. Try not to grab behind the knee. So if you're really flexible, you can reach for that calf. You can point the toes, extra stretches of flex. You're gonna pulse in twice. One, two, then switch. One, two, and then keep going. Now again, modification. You can drop your head. You can even soften your knees. As long as you're feeling that hamstring stretch and that work of the abs, you're getting the move. I'd rather you try to work on your flexibility than dropping the opposite leg so low so you can make it even smaller and still get that work. Let's do one more each leg. And good, both legs up, Pilates V, heels together, toes apart, head rests down for a moment, hold on to the backs of those legs. You can have the option to keep the head down, otherwise lift your head up, hands come behind your head. Small movement here, the legs go down about a foot and then exhale up, keep going. So in this one, it's not about doing this mindlessly. You wanna really squeeze your heels, squeeze the inner thighs and lead with your abs. Feel your abs draw in to bring the legs back up. And then once you've got that and you feel like you can increase the range of motion, Go for it. Again, option to keep your head down. Keep going, I'm just gonna check the time here, making sure I'm on point. You got this. Two more. One more. And relax, hug the knees. Now normally we would go for a bicycle crunch, also known as crisscross, but we're gonna do something slightly different. I want you to take your left leg down, bend it, and take your right leg back up and hug behind the leg. Once again, getting that hamstring stretch. And then we're gonna come back to a crunch position, option to keep your head down, hands behind your head. I want you to, st to start to draw tiny circles with that leg, as though you're circling around a basketball or a dinner plate. Good, the goal here is to keep your hips still. This is option one. You can always choose to stay here, there is no judgment. Option two, extending the leg and you will feel it just a little bit more. You also have the option to drop the leg all the way down. However, this leg lifted is a little bit more intense. Ready? Let's reverse the direction. Inhale, circle. Exhale up. Remember, you can choose to keep that leg down. It's a very gentle but effective option. Keep going. <laughs> I was doing like an in-between. <laughs> you got it. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Let's do the other leg. So other leg comes up, head is either down or you're in a crunch position, hands behind the head. Let's draw around that dinner plate. Breathe. Those of you who want to take it up a notch, if it feels okay for you, extend that leg. The stability of the hips here is the most important thing and working on your flexibility. So how straight can you get your leg as you're doing this, right? You got it. How am I doing here? Yep, yep, yep. And reverse it. Oh my gosh, I feel that. Do you feel that? I know you do. I know you do. You got this. Five, four, three, Two, good. I was just pretending like I was enjoying that. That was really hard for me. <laughs> so your feet are parallel and hip width apart. Let's start to bridge. This helps to open up your abs and your hip flexors while strengthening the back of your body. And lift, squeeze. You're already gonna feel those glutes activated from the work we did previously. And squeeze. Give me three more. Good, now at the next one, I want you to hold it at the top. You're gonna walk your feet in a little closer as you lift your heels up into releve. Now we're only gonna go halfway down, leading with your glutes and your ribs. You're gonna go down and then you're gonna tuck your pelvis to lift up. Notice now I'm saying tuck your pelvis, right? Tuck to lift. And you're gonna feel where your hamstring and your glutes engage. Squeeze.
and breathe. Give me two more. Hold this at the top, keeping your heels lifted, pull into your abs, squeeze the knees together, open. Squeeze and open. And you're really trying to get those knees to touch. Squeeze and open. You'll notice that when the knees squeeze, your lower abs engage. It's subtle, but it's there. <laughs> In four, three, two, one more. Squeeze the knees together, pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down. From here, extend your legs all the way, arms up to the sky. Roll yourself up, get the stretch for the hamstrings. That timer's on, but I wanna do one more thing, ignore it. Lie down back onto your back to finish with crisscross, 10 each side. Legs bent, twist, go. 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ring it out. Three, breathe, two, one. Yeah, you did. Excellent work. All right, everybody, come to uh, lie down onto your side. Use your top arm to lift you up. That's a very safe way to get up off the floor. Bring one leg into the other leg. Notice that this is my right leg. For you at home, this is probably your left. Bring the opposite leg in as we reach to the toe and take it up and over to stretch out the back. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice how you feel, the difference at the beginning to the end. Drop your chest towards the leg. And come on up, let's switch to the other side. If you want more stretching, I have a great, I believe it's a 10 minute Stretch video on YouTube, I'll link it below so that you can do that if you want more stretching. Like I said at the beginning, this is a great add-on to any of my workouts. So if you want a little bit more cardio today or try one of my longer Pilates fusions, you can add this to that. Or if you're like me and this is what you had time for today, it was perfect. You did it and be proud of yourself, right? Really, it's hard to work out. And the busier we get, it gets harder. It really does. I feel you, trust me. After making my movie, I've never sat so much in my life, <laughs> chest down. It's hard to get motivated. But every time I work out, I just feel better. And that's just what I keep holding on to. And your life is really determined by the choices you make. And that's it. Come on up, cross your legs. Let's finish with four big deep breaths. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, two more. Take it up, bring the palms together at the top, hands to heart, hands to your heart. You made a really good choice today by showing up with me. Close your eyes and silently say to yourself one thing that you are so grateful for. Ah, I felt that through the screen. Wonderful. Hold on to that gratitude all day, all night, and I'll see you soon. I forgot to say <laughs> that if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to like, like, leave comments, you know, talk to me. I do read your comments. So just know that every single positive comment that I see just really touches my heart. And I love this community so much, such empowering people that are doing incredible things in this world. And let's just keep creating this positivity and spreading this like beautiful wings so that we can all fly. I'll see you soon.